Hey everybody, welcome to the channel Gimlet's A Golden Hour. My name's Dan Hawkins, and today we're gonna to be making smoked meatloaf on a Weber grill. We're gonna be doing this while incorporating bourbon in the process. The reason I love this recipe so much is that unlike a pork shoulder or a rack of ribs, you're not gonna to need to spend all day grilling, okay? So if you still want that nice smoky dinner flavor, this is the recipe for you. So with that being said, Let's get into it. We have our meat mixture, two and a half pounds of ground round and about a pound and a quarter of ground pork. Three whole eggs. We're gonna incorporate a little bit of whipped cream, whip heavy whipping cream in there. Spice mix, this is gonna be salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic salt. Yeah, what I did there. Now we're gonna wait to put the panko in and first we're going to chop all of our veg. So we're gonna start with an onion. So there you can see about two onions. Now we're gonna put a little bit of celery in here. So that's about the amount of celery we want. A couple of jalapenos here. We're gonna go ahead and get these guys de-seeded. Smash a couple of cloves of garlic. A few cloves of garlic. Now, easiest way to get these skins off is going to be just smashing them. Just gonna go ahead and dump that right into the meat. So we're using about two cups of panko. We're just gonna put that all in there. Now's the fun part where we get to mix everything together. Now you wanna take care not to overmix, otherwise it's gonna make a nice, tough meatloaf in the end. So what I kinda do is break up the meat to start. Now we're gonna take this and make three individual logs with it. We're gonna be using this grate to put the meatloafs on. That way the smoke can kind of penetrate through all the holes, get in these grooves and really smoke throughout the whole loaf. There you have it. Three fairly uniform loafs. Um, that way they're gonna smoke evenly, cook evenly, and most importantly be done at the same time. And the way we've kind of lined our charcoal in the side of the Weber is um, often referred to as a snake method. It just gives you long, continuous heat at a low, uh, consistent temperature. So it's controlling the heat, controlling the amount of smoke. Now, in this case, I am using a charcoal chimney, a base layer of charcoal in the bottom. You don't need to go all the way up, even if you intend to go all the way up if you're cooking something like burgers. Reason being, it's easier to get the airflow going through the chimney if, if it's not all the way full. Uh, so starting with that base, adding to it later if you need to. So you're gonna probably want to use a meat probe. That way you don't have to open and close the grill multiple times. In this case, we're setting it to 140 degrees Fahrenheit so that we can be notified when we need to start putting on our sauce. Our target temperature, we're going for 165 degrees for doneness, but it's a good, time to put that first coat of sauce on there and start getting that incorporated. Start sealing in those smoky flavors. Start building that glossiness. Now, of course, we're going to offset the meat. And what this does is make sure that the meat isn't cooking um, faster than it's being smoked. Smoking is a slow process, so it's only gonna be 250 to 275 in the grill. That's fine. So in addition to offsetting the meat, when we put the grill cover on, we want the vents to be on this side, the meat is. That way the smoke has to travel, travel through the meat itself. Before you put that cap on though, make sure you get that probe into the meat. Um, somewhere in the center is usually pretty good. Uh, and then it's kind of set it and forget it, honestly. We might come out, make sure that um, the grill's holding temperature, not losing temperature or anything. If we have to make adjustments, we will. Cooking on a Weber is a little more finicky than some of your your new fangle dangle green eggs or some of your more fancy wood pellet grills. But at this time, we can go ahead and start making our sauce. For our sauce, we're gonna have a good healthy serving of barbecue, almost a cup, probably around three quarters of a cup, and then a quarter cup of some spicy brown mustard. In this case, I am using Weber's original barbecue sauce and uh, Golden's spicy brown. And then what's gonna make this awesome is the incorporation of bourbon. Now, I like to cook with alcohol as much as possible. Reason being, it just adds flavor. That same flavor you're going for when you have a drink of bourbon is uh, 
uh, the same flavors that we are going to hopefully uh, introduce into the smoked meats. In this case, Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, Hunter Proof Kentucky Whiskey. If you dug today's video, please like and subscribe. As always, I'm Dan for Gimlet's at Golden Hour. Cheers.